This is 60 CS2 Pro Tricks from PGL Copenhagen Major 2024 where I show off new play setup nades that I collected from watching hours of demos. Let's get started. Here you got wallbang in the first clip and here he's using the same wallbang to get a frag. Ladder throws the mid banana smoke in a way that is going to leave a gap here for his teammate to go ahead and peek towards toilet which the T's might not expect. Nython is going to throw a one-way smoke for his teammate, stand behind the SWAT, aim there at dice, then jump throw. You're going to see that the smoke gives you a gap here to peek towards toilet. The T's hearing and seeing this smoke might not expect this angle and position. Kesarato from the SWAT has a set lineup to flash long where he's aiming under that window, then right click throw. He peeks off the flash and you can see that JT did not see that coming. When you see the T's boost flowers on overpass, they immediately go for the boost, but we see Leash clinically using the boost as an off angle peek, then he jumps up after. BQ Zero holding off angle inside toilets gets the frag, falls back, and as he does so, he throws his flash off the wall. So if any T's pushed up, they would have been owned. Fury are going to use the triple boost here towards graffiti ABC, finds somebody towards short, gets an easy frag. Some pro teams are using the two player boost to go ahead and jump spot here towards short and water. And by doing so, you could actually see the cubby, see if any lurkers are there. And then you can have that information by pushing into short. Or you can rotate off towards A, but just know that T's can be monster still and if you have short control or you have somebody watching short you could definitely use this overpowered position playing on top of site to watch monster it is really good in the mid to late round if the t's want to contact out they're going to be in big trouble as you get the early advantage by spotting their shadow Instead of running through this small tough, you can go ahead and jump on top of the rail and then jump over the small tough. you do take damage but you take less damage than running through Nakis is going to Molotov T stairs and right after he is going to use this lineup to throw utility over the wall to land towards B. The nades will land in one position and they won't be all over the place so your B teammates will easily find it. Make sure you learn how to silent drop from heaven for the B site because it can come in handy when you're in a clutch. Lado has this insane B nade set to rush monster where he is going to Molotov offshore then he throws a smoke for bridge that lands in front of the Molotov that cuts off the vision. Kisarato throws a short smoke standing behind that wood, aims above this pole, then left and right click jump throw. You're going to see that they push into water and this smoke makes it look like they're coming out monster which pulls the connector player where they going to frag him. Twist is going to throw the big clan B rush nades which is going to involve smoking off the right side and then he's going to Molotov off the ABC graffiti side. Twist is going to throw the fast short pipe smoke where you stand next to this car, use the pin and put it like that, then go ahead and jump throw. This is the same smoke that I showed Golden using a couple months ago. In CSGO, it's very common to sit inside the CT's monster smoke and then go ahead and fade the smoke and go ahead and contact or pop through the smoke, which we see it's still very common in CS2. Floppy Molotov's offshore at the start of the round. JT here is outside monster on the platform and he's going to perfectly time the nade as the Molotov ends and the CT is pushing, waiting for the Molotov to end is going to eat a nade full. Iris Dorse from B site on top of the box here is going to throw the small tough that lands at the A default plant as well as preventing the T's from crossing towards truck and into sight on that right side. He gets dropped another Molotov and pairs it up and forces Hobbit to plant on the back site. He almost single handedly won saw this round but Hobbit does go ahead and plant at the last second behind dice. Halzerk has this insane A nade combo where you're going to smoke off stairs, then you're going to Molotov off truck from that same position. Doing it from this position is very effective. Kisrato is going to throw the mid A side smoke that lands between dice and truck, and you're going to see that Fury uses it on their T pistol to plant inside the smoke. You're also going to see Team Liquid throw the mid A side smoke, which Kaden is going to throw from the right side of bench. However, the T pistol tactic and entry path gets shut down. Look at this insane setup and teamwork from Wikadia and Zentaris, who Wikadia is towards short, throws flashes for Zentaris to peak underpass. The first flash doesn't get anybody. The second flash is going to be well timed as you see Zentaris get the free frag. So you see Zentaris is going to come out with the cover of the bottom connector smoke that gives him cover from mid. Then he's going to get the second flash, peaks, blinds a T, and then he's going to peek around this smoke and then fall back safely. LXB stops the plant behind triple with this wall bang using the MP9. I've also tested it out using the Glock and USP and triple is very thin so you can wall bang with pistols too. 
Henny is going for the B apps pick and before he does so he throws a smoke in anticipation of a Molotov which would have put it out to allow him to go for that peek. Imperia are going to split A through connector with the cover of this smoke, stand behind the doorway, aim at the tip of the corner of that block, then jump throw. The smoke is going to give full cover from triple and CT. Do you guys remember the refrigerator kitchen smoke to pop B apps? Well here is the new way of throwing that smoke. So you're going to aim as shown then jump throw, however this lineup is not consistent. If anybody knows a consistent lineup, please let me know. So you're going to see that this smoke is going to land at the edge of this wood plank here. It's going to trickle and extend wall for all down and it's going to give cover from anyone playing short so they can't spot apps and you can come out with this. It does leave a little bit of gap here one way to peek towards market as well as site and it's going to give you full cover to go ahead and scale out apps. This smoke will be meta, mark my words, pro teams will use this smoke as part of their B pop and execute in the future. Let me show you a new insane right side A smokes from one position. Go ahead and position with that line, stand up for the stair smoke aim as shown, then left and right click jump throw. For the jungle smoke, you're going to aim to the left of this black dot, then go ahead and jump throw. Now this jungle smoke is going to land on top of the wall here, extending down. What makes these smokes unique is that the jungle smoke previously, you could go ahead and boost the C towards balcony and palace. However, these two sets of smokes won't allow you to boost the C over the smokes. You make your way into B site, plant default, and you have a Molotov. You can go ahead and stand behind the box. You're going to aim as shown, then left and right click jump throw. The Molotov is going to land in the middle of market fully covering it, preventing the rotations. If the CTs run through the small top, they're going to take heavy damage. Fiku from left side of car is going to throw a deep CT smoke. He's going to put his crosser like this, then jump throw. OG pair this smoke up with a front sight smoke and they're going to wrap CT two coffins to B. Halsic from this right corner is going to throw two entry flashes, then he's going to smoke coffins. This is the B entry flash, then he's going to follow up with a CT flash for his teammates to scale. Then he backs up into the corner to throw coffin, aim here, then W jump throw. The smoke is going to land on top of the end of the sandbag here and fully blooms. New coffin smoke by fame, stand in the right cubby, aim as shown at this mark on the half wall, then go ahead and jump throw. Here's the other way that fame smokes coffin and he's going to be in the middle of car standing, aim here, then go ahead and left and right click jump throw. Inferno B Nate set from Jane first. He's going to stand inside this corner for the CT smoke aim as shown for the boost. And then you're going to left and right click W jump throw back up in the corner where you mount off dark aim as shown. Then W jump throw stand in front of the half wall left click throw for the CT flash for your teammates to scale. Elise shows new top mid smoke. Go ahead and position as shown. Stand up aim here at the gap between the antenna and roof. Then go ahead and left click throw. JT is going to show a long smoke that leaves a gap into the archway where you can go ahead and go towards long into arch to go towards B. Another team that I've seen use this smoke is Nine Pandas. Look at this position from Latu where he's crouched behind this left part of the car and why it's so good is because this banana retake flash is not going to affect him. But also it's an insane off angle that T's might not check. Twist shows an insane defensive flash from Big Pit. He's going to throw it off this wall. The flash is intended to land in front of the wall where he can peek with the flash so he doesn't get blind, but the flash is going to go too far. Drop from the cold position crouch is going to show us how to flash long. He's going to aim at that part of the roof. You're going to see his teammate break open the long smoke to go ahead and peek. Boss are going to do the Young Ninjas Mexi Nade stack on Inferno where one player on each side of mid is going to have this lineup in order to nade off Mexi. However, Freshie's nade does miss. Here is one set lineup to throw that left nade. Go ahead and position with the wall. Aim as shown without moving your mouse. Go ahead and straight forward to the right. Then go ahead and left click throw as you're doing so. Green goes for the attempted wall bang through the door here towards the left. And this is not possible in CS2, which was possible in CSGO. Slack smokes arch and library from one position in mid behind the half wall standing for the arch smoke aim there. Jump throw for the lice variable aim as shown. Then jump throw. They're going to throw these two smokes as the long smokes fade in order to pull rotations to rep A. Flamesy is diffusing and Techno is going to drop his pistol from heaven which makes a dropping noise. It makes it appear that he dropped down from heaven which takes Flamesy off the defuse which wins Techno this round 200 IQ play. Wikadia is going to throw a smoke here when he makes contact Jiggle Peek in secret. He's going to spray the smoke to make it look like nobody's there while Zantaros is going to push through. 
Techno is going to throw a fake hut Molotov towards Tetris to bait that hut is Molotov off while his teammate Sensu is going to push through and he's going to catch the T by surprise. Look at this play from Blitz on T Pisso who throws the door lurk smoke. His teammate is going to nade open the door. Blitz is going to walk through the smoke towards this right side where he has that gap. Here we see the main smoke being used against the T's as the CT Goofy is going to sneak around the right side of the smoke and he's going to peek behind that cover as well as the second vent Molotov making it hard to spot him. Adam S is going to take advantage of the smoke Molotov standing in between them where you don't take damage. It gives you like a bit of a one way there and that is going to set him up for that frag. Fria are recreating the smoke Molotov bug where you can go ahead and stand in between. You saw Cello throw the deep Molotov, Kisrato throws the smoke and then he pushes through a smoke and stands in between the Molotov and the smoke which the T was watching out for it. In lower play you could definitely catch the T's off guard with this play. Forcer Postplant makes a hole in the right door where he could go ahead and hold this crazy off angle that C's might not expect. Calyx from the back left corner of ramp is going to smoke it off by aiming here then go ahead and jump throughout. Very easy upper retake flash go ahead and stand next to the lightning bolt sign then aim at the light then left click throw. Upper retake flash stand in the corner aim at the top right of the square left click throw and then have your teammate throw the standard flash off that right beam. This is a consistent lineup to smoke lockers from outside, stand in between these two fences, then crouch, put your crosser in the middle, stand up, then run forward and jump throw. Pair this smoke up with the main smoke and you have outside control. Hades throws the outside secret smoke wall from one position. For the first smoke, aim at the corner, jump throw. For the second smoke, aim at this square here, then jump throw. This is the second time that I've seen this smoke set used, and I think I showed Altez from Preezy throwing it the first time. If the T's throw the secret cross smokes for outside, you can go ahead and throw the defensive molly by aiming at that light, then left click throw. Glade makes a 200 IQ T pistol tactic where he's going to send two players to rush bridge and drop down to make it appear that they're rushing cave to B while three players are creeping up mid and that's going to force the CTs to peek into them. No way is going to throw a cave one way smoke from the corner of E box here then he's going to follow up with the Molotov. He pushes through his smoke to the left corner where he's going to peek behind the cover of the smoke and Molotov which is going to give him this insane one way which he abused against Ents. Story smokes canal from CT spawn, stand next to this wall, aim as shown, then jump throw. The smoke is going to land on the edge of this platform and it's going to bloom covering both sides leaving no gaps. No way is going to show retake dates for A from the back of heaven. He is going to throw this Molotov for fountain and then he's going to follow it up with this flash for his teammates entry out. When you're entering A from A main, please throw this flash off the wall for fountain. Your teammates won't get blind and you can see that it goes far enough to where it's going to cover anyone close wall as well as anyone towards broken insight. This is a really cool setup from Lin Vision towards B where the Oppers posted this close towards B main. Then they have a rifle here towards Temple is going to peek off the op and then meanwhile this is happening. They also have another rifle inside watching towards cave. Wikidia throws a deep cave smoke. Go ahead and crouch. Put your crosshair like this when you crouch. Then stand up. Afterwards jump throw. Eternal Fire are going to pop B with this smoke. Starry is going to make his way towards the door side and towards this right wall he is going to smoke camera by throwing off that left wall. I've also seen pros Molotoffing that back right corner by throwing a Molotov off that left wall. If you want to deny the B plant if CT smoked off there's two ways to do so. For the first way stand in this corner aim as shown then go ahead and left click throw and then for the other way go ahead and stand in the opposite corner you're going to aim here then left click throw. Both of these Molotovs are just going to land on this corner and then it extends down covering all of this so it's going to deny the plant. Cold is going to throw two smokes. First he's going to throw the standard window smoke which is a jump throw. Then he is going to pick up the other smoke where he's going to throw a fast CT smoke and you're going to see that Legacy is going to do a fast A rush with these two set smokes. Every pro team on T side Ancient has an A rush tactic where they use this type of smoke that smokes donut very fast paired up with the CT smoke and it works really well when the CTs are playing heavy mid. In the post plant if you're a T inside temple you have to be very careful because when you come around that corner and you peek like that you're going to be exposed by your shadow and the CT is going to know. Zakir is going to throw a A main entry flash for his teammates where he's positioned with that part of line crouches, aim here, then left and right click jump throw. The opera that was holding the entrance is going to get flash, however, hits the blind shot. 
the CT smoked off Franchita and one way to counter that is go ahead and boost on top of this ledge here where you could see through the top of the gap and the CT here says the is not expecting it. There's a new jiggle peak for A main where you're on top of big box and you're going to see that Stiko will be able to spot the shadow of anyone's entering from the left or he could spot deep towards the right but then you're going to see that he falls off because the T's anti-strat him. Glaive jump spots banana and spots a CT long so he's going to set up for this boost for Hades who is going to do this off angle peak. Glaive shows a new way to smoke B long from outside shelf. Go ahead and stand next to this wall, aim at that mark, then left and right click jump throw. We know about the smoke walkout on Ancient Towards Elbow from the T side if the CTs throw the elbow smoke instantly. And here we see Dumao do it without a Molotov thrown from the CTs and it still works as a one way as you can see. If you think the T's are rushing B or they're executing B, you could go ahead and do smoke off the Molotov and then this smoke is actually going to provide you cover and room here to move over towards the right side to play behind the smoke. In last week's video, I showed Stair throwing this defensive long flash for B when he was getting rushed. Here we see Hobbit throwing the same flash, however he does get flashed when he peeks from the T's but it helps him as you can see. I'm releasing another CS2 Major Tips and Tricks video next week so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out and leave a video like. This video took me a long time to make as I watch a lot of matches to get all these clips. See you guys in the next one.